We're down here in the boiler room of this old school, and here you can see the original coal burning furnaces or boilers. As time marched on, these boilers were converted from coal to gas. Over here would have been the area where the uh, coal or coal chute where they would have stored the coal. And this is where the actual gas furnace would be. Down here is where the coal would have been shoveled into the boiler. Very archaic looking. When this school is demolished, of course, these will stay in the building and they'll go down with the building. So we're going to go upstairs into the upper levels of the school and we'll see um, what we've got up here. I believe there are pull rods and there'll probably be some uh, more pull stations that uh, have the uh, knocker arms or the knockers. Yeah, here's one here. Again, there's the 10 inch single stroke auto call bell. And of course it's tied into uh, the pull station right here. But this uh, school also has a pull rod system, which would have been originally installed when the school was first built before the electric auto call fire alarm system was put in. Uh, all they would have had back when this building was first built would have been this pull rod which was tied to a manual trip bell. So when you pull the rod down, when you pull the rod down it would ring this manual trip bell. Now this rod starts all the way in the basement and goes all the way up to the third floor or second floor, I'm sorry, there's only two floors. But if you count the basement, there's three floors in this building. If you count the basement floor. So let's go up to the last floor and you'll see that there'll be a pull rod up here also. So when you pull the rod, it would ring all three manual trip bells. And here's the other one, right here. And there's the other bell. And that 
I know the lighting is very poor. You may not be able to see it, but there's the spring, which is at the very top of the pull rod, this extension spring. So when you pull it down, there is an actuator switch there, right there if you can see it. So when you pull the rod down, it activates that actuation switch, and that's what triggers the auto call fire alarm control panel down in the boiler room that rings the electric 10 inch single stroke bells that are located throughout the building. And again, here's another one. There's the auto call 10 inch single stroke bell. And of course, there is the pull station there. Again, with this knocker that swings up, breaks the glass, which triggers the button to pop out, and that completes the circuit, which starts to ring the uh, bells. This school has been closed down for quite a while, well over a year. It is decommissioned and eventually it will be demolished. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, set off this fire alarm system. Again, this is an auto call. This is one of the pull stations. I've already inserted the key into the pull station and we're just going to go ahead and unwind this to open the door which again will engage that button. That button's going to pop out which it did and it should start ringing these bells. And this will go four rounds for about one minute. And we will set the alarm off again so I can show you how it works here on the control panel. Here is the auto call fire alarm control panel. This panel was manufactured uh, in the 1950s. And over here are the various components. Uh, this is a trouble bell that supervises the operational side of the panel and this trouble bell over here is for the supervisory side. Here you can see the meter indicating the voltage that's going through the system. Right here are the various relays and these two down here and right here is the code well mechanism now the synchronized motor is behind the code well, but here if you notice these spikes, uh, also like little teeth, there's uh, four sets of four which indicates this is the cadence marching code. So we're going to go ahead and activate this system. 
So you can see how it operates. And over here is the one of the pull stations, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and uh, set one of these pull stations off so you can see how the control panel operates. Now here's the uh, hinged knocker, also the ha or some people call it the hinged hammer, and this swings up, it breaks the glass, and this button here pops out, which completes the circuit and of course sets the bells off. So we're going to go ahead and activate this the way it was designed. And we can turn that trouble bell off so we don't have to listen to that. Now this will go approximately one minute to do the complete four rounds. And it's on the last round right now. And as you can see, it automatically stops. Uh, the B and the J relay work together, and it automatically stops the synchronized motor from turning the code well. And that's it.